So you can see this is going to be the majority is her head. So, all right, what we're going to do is I'm, I'm trying a couple different things today. Well, first of all, before I forget, please subscribe if you haven't, um, because we have a lot of cool videos coming out and I haven't quite yet figured out my consistency yet, uh, for the rest of the year. So it would be best if you subscribed because then you would know uh, exactly when my videos drop. <laughs> All right, so um, we're trying out a couple different things. So her hair, if you can see, I'm gonna move this down a little bit for now. Her hair is, um, it's got like three little buns. So what I did was I did one black piece, well, two pieces because it's so big, right? So two pieces to encompass the, the buns area, but then I cut out each individual bun so that we're going to make it pop up a little bit, but also to just kind of like play with knowing that there are seams, but now we're making it like, um, more deliberate because these individual buns are gonna be popping up instead of like the three buns being like one continuous piece of hair. The other thing is because the hair was so big, right? Like this whole thing, I mean, just look, I try to do comparisons like with my hands and stuff so that you could see how big this portion of her face is. Um, her hair in the design was the three buns and the hair was all one piece. So like, if you think about it, like, this much of the hair was one piece. I had to do a deliberate seam making like her bangs and like a top portion of her hair one piece. So we'll get to that. But this one has some really cool tips and tricks. Um, so we'll see how it all turns out. All right, first thing is this is the back, right? Or this is the, the, uh, the outline. So I'm gonna flip this over because we are basically going to be taping it together from behind. The reason why we tape it from behind is because it's the outline and while it's just a little bit of the outline showing, uh, the tape, you could see the tape. So we don't want it to be distracting. So we're taping it from behind. When I'm taping these um, seams back together, what's really important to me is that we try to um, minimize the seams and we do that by using the right paper right so we're using glitter cardstock and I want you to, to to pick up one piece and push it against the other one so that it is as close as can be um, so we're just kind of like employing every little trick that we can to make this as seamless as possible the paper that I am using is 300 GSM it's from ground up creations and I do it it costs a little bit more. I do have a discount, so you can use that and you can go through my link. Sorry, I'm like getting distracted from this little piece that didn't cut completely um, or perfectly. All right, um, it's 300 GSM. It is thick. I mean, you can hear it, right? Um, I'm gonna push this up against the two, but I just love it. And you're gonna see when I flip this around that this gold, hides the seams so well. All right, I'm going to flip this over. We've got one more little piece down here. So the background is five pieces. Um, it's 30 inches. We use 12 by 12 uh, inch cardstock. And you know, a lot of times I get questions like, why didn't I use a bigger sheet of paper? I do have lots of 12 by 24 sheets, but you guys don't. So, and also like, I guess I'm trying to make a point that you can still make something really big and really beautiful and still use 12 by 12 cardstock. All right, so now we have, now we're putting these big pieces together. Same idea, you want to line it up and then push it against each other. You see how like when I, if you push it really good, we can really minimize the seams. The other thing is, I mean, we know there's gonna be things sitting on top of this, but there are gonna be some areas where there's nothing sitting on top of it. So where that is the case, we definitely want to hide the seams. 
Okay. Um, the other thing is most of the time there are things sitting on top right here. So we're not so worried about the seams here, but there's nothing sitting at the edges. So for all the edges I do at the end right now, I like to take a piece of tape and go at the edge and really tape it down so that there's no bending in that area so that it doesn't catch any light for the seam to be noticeable. So I'm just going along all the edges and taping it up really well. So like here, you see how that piece? So. All right, so our whole piece is down. I'm gonna flip it over. And so the dress is gonna come down like this. All The seam that's gonna show is just right here. You're not gonna notice that, right? So that's why I was saying like, even though, yes, we can see a big block right here, but we, have, we know the black hair is gonna be covering that. So the only seam that you're gonna see is at the edge. But if I start covering it like this, you're not gonna notice this little piece right here. So that's kind of like the thing that we're doing is we're just trying to, all the tricks that we have, we're gonna incorporate it because in the end, what's gonna be left is gonna be so minimal and you're not gonna notice it. All right, so um, here's our, black, our background. I was gonna say our black background. The tricky thing with this is because normally my background is just plain black cardstock when it is glitter we're gonna need to maybe use a hot glue gun i don't like to glue things down on glitter cardstock because i feel like it starts to peel up a little bit it doesn't stay down as easily so we're gonna be we're gonna talk our way through that okay here is the hair okay so the hair is, let me pull these pieces out. So this is the, the buns. So you can see the buns are in two pieces, right? So it's gonna go like that. So first thing is we're gonna tape these two together. So let's do that now. Same thing as before. We're going to line it up and then really push it against each other and tape it down. I'm gonna do that here. Okay. So you see how it, it it's popping up a little bit, but when I push it down, the seam really goes away. So we're, we're gonna need to make sure that when we glue this piece down, that we glue down where this seam is, push it down, let it dry flat like this. Because when it's flat like this, you can't even see the seam in person. I know where the seam is, but it's really hard to see it. But the other thing is we are gonna have the little buns like sitting on top of it. So you're not gonna see that seam at all. But still, we are going to act like every seam is a possibility to be seen and so we just incorporate all the best practices all the time <laughs> all right so let's put this down here so that we could see where it goes and then here's the deliberate seam right so we're making it so that there's a part in her hair and that it was meant to be there otherwise it was just so it was such a big piece so I didn't and so many times these characters do have bangs and a, you know the hair is in multiple pieces. All right, so we've got that and we've got this cute little face. So I'm putting the face down because I wanna know like where this hair goes. So this hair goes up a little bit more like that. This goes down a little bit like that. So that's what the seam looks like. Okay, so that looks really good. I'm gonna move this down. Let's add some more pieces. And let's see, we 
you've got little arms. So you see this seam is disappearing right here. But right now, you can barely see this seam right there. Okay, we've got that little piece. Not sure where these go. Oh. Um, so hard to tell which side is which. I hope we'll see in the end. But anyway, let me bring this the dress over. So now that seam totally disappears, right? So there's the dress. Um, so I think for now, what we can do is we can deal with this top portion. The rest of this, so what I would say is the skin color is the one that I would be most worried about because um, it's a thinner cardstock, it's light colored. So I am tempted to hot glue the paper down and then cut another layer so that that cardstock, the skin cardstock, is going to be on top of skin cardstock, which I would then use this so that we don't damage the paper at all and you won't see it. So I did not think about that when I was cutting this, so we're not gonna finish this today like that, um, but you guys understand what I'm trying to do. I would do all the skin pieces again and just layer it on top, so that way it won't show any imperfections. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, the other thing that I'm gonna show you today is we're gonna do the buns, they're gonna pop up um, so I won't, maybe we won't deal with the bottom half, um, but I do want to show you what I want to do. Give me just one second to bring over the pieces. And I just want to show you how cute, stinking cute this is. This is her shoe. So, right? I mean, it's adorable. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have this little character and it's sitting on top of a heart and it's going to go right here i'm going to make this heart so that it can spin around so we're going to do that um let's do the hair and let's do the face and then we'll get to that part so right now we're really going to be doing this in just like the top half the bottom half is super easy. It's going to be the same process, so I'm not going to finish it, but what we're going to do is we're going to finish the top half, and then I'm going to show you how to do the foam board, and then um, we'll be done. So, all right, so let's get started. All right, I've got my hot glue gun going. I want to make sure that I am happy with this alignment. So... I feel like this is not sitting right. I need to look in on camera because I can't see it that well in person because it's so big. I think I want to do it like that. Okay, with this piece, because we're going to be putting this little guy down like this, I'm going to cut a big rectangle right in the middle here. Um, I'm going to kind of measure it like this so it's within the heart okay so that's going to be the rectangle that I cut okay so I'm basically going to so Okay. So 
So I'm gonna turn it around so I know like where I missed it, right? I'm gonna finish cutting this. This is gonna give us a little cutout so that we can put our perler bead in and get this thing to spin. Okay, so here's our little piece. I'm gonna move it back down. It's gonna go right here, right? Okay. So what we're gonna do is these perler beads are available um, at Michael's, Joann's, on my Amazon shop. They're cheap. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue, so give me a second. Um, so I want a piece of, okay. So we want basically a piece that's gonna be bigger than this rectangle or square in here, okay? So I'm just gonna cut out this circle. Okay, so nothing fancy. I'm cutting out this circle underneath like that, okay? So you see the piece is completely covered I'm gonna use my glue glue at this point. Okay, so it's ready. And I put it in the middle because you don't wanna get the glue to the edge at all, okay? Because you we don't wanna glue the paper down. We just wanna glue the, the perler bead down. So I've got one bead down. I'm gonna actually do three. Okay, my glue is like dripping right now for some reason. So I'm gonna move it out and put my perler bead down and put my third one down. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's drying, okay? Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna glue this down so you can see what that's like. So once I glue it down, I'm gonna be able to swirl this, okay? So I did do, oh, I had wanted to cut a double piece, but I guess I did not. So I'm gonna put this down. So now, I think this is, this is dry. So you see how like it's twirling around? What you wanna make sure is, uh-oh, I just got glue on the edge. So do you see that? So that's okay. So we got it out in time. Okay. So this piece needs to be bigger than your square so that it doesn't come out at all. So once this is in, this is gonna swirl around like this. Make sense? And then this is going to be glued on top of this perler bead so then it can spin by, so you can rotate it. What's important is when you glue this down that we don't accidentally glue this to the bottom of here because then it won't move, right? We wanna make sure when we are applying the glue that we're applying along the edge only in this section so that no glue traps this thing and makes it stuck. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. This needs to be in place when you put this down because then this will now stay in place like this, okay? So let's put this piece down and then let's put glue on top. Gonna let it dry. And that's it. That's gonna help us twirl it around. We'll put this down later. Right, it's so cute. Okay. And we'll let it dry and we'll move it apart right now. Let's see. Okay, good. So it's still moving. All right, we've got that down. Let's. I'm checking on this thing because I don't want it to glue, get glued down. Okay, I think 
think we're pretty good. I'm going to move that over. This part we can just glue down right now. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue it, hot glue gun it. Here we go. Ah. Well, it totally moved on me. What in the world? Okay. And move this over. I'm going to lift this up and glue down this part. And I'm gonna hold this part down so that it gets glued down. The seam gets glued down so that there's no movement. And so we're not gonna see that seam. The seam looks good. <laughs> All right, then we've got, oh my God, this thing totally moved on me. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna put the last one down here. And the reason why I say it's okay is because we're gonna have the buns sitting on top. All right, so here we go. Okay, so let's check this out. So this is gonna sit like this. And you see the heart totally moves. So um, a couple important pieces. This bottom piece, you want it to be, the paper needs to be thick enough that it can handle being twirled around a lot. So if you think about like copy paper, it might be too thin, right? We've got three perler beads attached to it. We've got a heart that's attached to it on top. So you want the paper to be strong enough that it can handle the movement. So, all right, let's put that down. I've got this all messed up. Okay, there. That looks good to me. So what I'm gonna do is, remember, we're only gonna glue along the edges here um, so I'm going to lift this up, I'm going to take my glue, and I'm going to run it along this edge only. Okay, now this piece, what we can do with this piece is we can use Barely Art Glue to see if there's going to be any impacts to our paper. Worst case is um, we cut another piece that goes on top, okay? So I'm gonna lift this up, I'm just gonna turn it around, and we're gonna put glue all along the edges. with this piece. Okay, turn it around. Okay, it's looking good. What I'm going to do is you want to give it pressure right now so that it glues um, straight down and flat. Um, as it's drying, with glue, there's a tendency for the paper to kind of like warp and, and pick up a little bit. So you just want to put pressure down. This paper is really, really delicate. It's light, right? It's skin color. So you want to make sure your hands are clean so that you're not rubbing down um, on the paper. All right, I think that looks good. We might not have to cut again, so that'll be awesome. Okay. This little guy, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna run this glue underneath.
Okay, so now our heart is still able to move, so it's all good. Yay. Okay, top half is totally down at this point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our little buns in place, and I'm going to have this middle bun be like popping out the most. So it's going to look like this. It's going to be perfect. Um, I'm tempted to cut this one a little bit. I'm going to just use my scissors. Okay. And the reason was it had just like a little jagged edge and I felt that that was more distracting. So, all right, let's put down these pieces. I'm going to be using glue dots. So with glue dots, I'm always paranoid that it's going to pop off. So <laughs> we're going to, um, we're going to, we're going to glue it down. <laughs> so pressure adhesive, you want to put, you know, put pressure on it to get it to stick. And then let's peel this off. This is going to be so cute. I love all the colors. Um, she's going to be pretty much seamless. Um, the buns are going to be three separate buns. So the seams won't, I don't think it'll count against us because clearly with three separate buns at three different heights, um, it's, you know, there is a seam, but it's a deliberate seam. So it's not going to be distracting at all. All right. So just to make sure that these aren't going anywhere, I always just glue them down. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna put glue on top of them and then put it down. So move it aside so nothing gets in the way. Okay, and we're just gonna put a lot of glue down. Make sure this isn't going anywhere. Okay, flip it over, line it up. Okay, then we're gonna do this side, this top bun, same thing. We're gonna do one layer. And I'm tempted to, you know, again, see how it's a little bit, here, let me put it over here, a little bit jagged right there. It was just the way it was, I'm just going to cut it so it looks like this, no more jagged edge, and no one's gonna notice it because it's gonna be covered anyway. All right, so this little guy, same thing. Um, I cannot wait for Barely Art to come out with their tape. <laughs> They've got little foam tape in development. I don't know the status because I haven't, I've been a little bit out of it. So I'm super looking forward to it because I hate peeling off one by one like that. And I hate feeling as if these aren't um, reliable enough that I have to glue it down, right? And I'm going to Put another glue stick in. Okay, here we go. All right, so they're totally glued down. Now I'm gonna put glue on top and be quick about it. This guy is gonna be double layered though. He's gonna be popping up higher. So we're gonna put, let's move this down a little bit. We're just gonna double it up. So we're gonna put down our first layer of tape. Peel it off and then put another layer down. As 
So when you look at this hair portion, it's going to look seamless and it was, you know, the majority, or well, including the face, right? It's like 75% of our project is, appears to be seamless. So going to look amazing. Okay. <laughs> Let's put it right on top so that we've got a lot of height on this, on this piece. And push down so that the pieces we're gonna glue it but just to you know really get it going because when we peel off the, the layer I don't want the whole thing coming off these are glue dots from foam dots from the Dollar Tree and I've noticed before like if I peel it off too hard I might take off the whole glue dot, which then makes my project feel like it's in danger, right? <laughs> so that's why I glue it down. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, I missed that one. Let me put that one on. All right, let's secure these glue dots. And, you know, I'm putting down glue and not really worried about the paper because I am using the 300 GSM um, black glitter cardstock. So I know my glue is not going to impact the paper at all. All right, here we go. So you see how it pops up a little bit? And then we have these little hearts that I'm gonna double up. So they're single right now, but we'll, you know, you can always double them up, triple them up, and kind of place them all around like this. So no one's gonna notice the little cutouts there here as well. So we're gonna, you know, just make it look really fun. And these will be layered and you can do more than what was, you know, on the original design. The original design had four hearts and they were like ones in here. So we could do that and we can put like two right here, put another one right here, and then maybe another one like up here somewhere. So it looks really cute, right? Okay, those are the extras. You guys can do that however you want to. Let's talk about, so this is mainly down. I do want to show you one extra piece though. Um, I have it somewhere over here. Oh, here it is. I ended up, these are her eyes, and I don't know if you could see it, but the white in the middle has like little beads, like beading, little gems. So it's gonna look so cute. So those are her eyes. Let me see what else she has. Oh, the mouth. Um, here's her little mouth. So cute. <laughs> um, and then here's her outfit. So we won't do the outfit because you guys get it, right? How to put this together. But she's got two little bows on here. So this right here is all seamless. She's got this shoe. And then there's like a little piece of leg somewhere here like that mm, I can't even tell which way is which there that looks better and then the other shoe It's pretty cute. Oh, and she has two little dots right here for her hands. And I was going to double up as well just to give it a little bit more like for it to pop up. But look at how stinking cute this is. 
I'm tempted to do her lips and like bling it out as well. So like her eyes and stuff um, with her lips. Um, but all right, let's get to the, the last like big part of this. So I'm gonna take this off for now and we're gonna do the foam board, okay? So give me a second. But I'm hoping that the more you guys watch me do this, the easier it is. Um, the cool thing about this project is this part I feel like is the most labor intensive. Each one of these stripes um, we need to you know tape and or glue down. But overall, these were all really big pieces, right? So this part wasn't hard at all. It's just it's just a process. Um, but just think about how big she is and how adorable it's gonna photo for your party. So all right, let me grab a foam board. So this is, um, I think, two, tw 20 inches? 20 inches by 30 inches. It's the foam board from the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. You can't beat it. You can cut it with just your, um, you know, your knife blade. This is from Excel, Excel Blades. I, I'm not an affiliate, but I love their products. So uh, you want a smooth cut. It's